If you're tuning in right now, you happen to be watching the world's truest source for hip hop news, black culture, sports, and of course the best reaction videos on the net. I'm talking about Kofi's Universe. If you haven't already subscribed, it's your chance to hit that button now before I hit this blunt. Bada. YouTube salute. King Kofi is back once again. We have two great artists in the building today yes i know everybody's going to be happy about these two artists and so let me introduce them the first artist he's an mc veteran battle rapper entrepreneur from harlem new york usa he has an extremely high know. iq when it comes to black culture diverse vocabulary in his lyrics in the early 2000s he made appearances on smack dvds he also competed and was undefeated for seven weeks, y'all. You heard me. Seven oh, you just did your own work. On mm -hmm. 106 on Parks, Freestyle <laughs> Friday. He's the founder yeah. of the Lions Den, which was a battle league that featured iconic barbershop and small room style battles, a.k.a. you going to get this work, a.k.a. Oh, yeah. Mr. Loaded Lux. Oh man, come on, man. Come on. I gotta give it up for you, man. That intro was just beautiful, baby. <laughs> that intro was tied you up, man. You did your homework. <laughs> really? Appreciate you, appreciate you, family. The next artist, he's a regular on the channel. <laughs> My first interview I did with him, he's from New Haven, Connecticut. If you never even heard of him, superb lyricist. Um he won the 2020 Lyricist of the Year Award on Kofi's Universe. He mm. continues to lead people around the world hypnotized and flabbergasted by his wordplay and rhyme schemes, a.k.a. Bata, a.k.a. Mr. LSD, Cam Bada. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it up, man. Come yes, on. sir. Come on, man. In the, we in the building. We in the building like Tetris blocks. You know how we do it. Uh, uh, shout out, and before we start, I want to say shout out to, of course, the USA, UK, New Zealand, Canada, Spain, South Africa, Australia, Russia, Brazil, Germany, Ghana, Kenya, France, Ukraine, Sweden, Netherlands, Ireland, Nigeria, South Korea, Norway, Zambia, Gambia, Senegal, Fiji, Denmark, Morocco, Portugal, Portland, Japan, Romania, Turkey, Trinidad and Tobago. Jamaica, Belize, Angola, Bahamas, Puerto Rico, and many more. These are the top 50 countries that the people are subscribed to my channel, just to let everybody know. Man, wow. Basically all of them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everybody yeah. that got a computer. You ain't, I don't think you said Papua New Guinea. That might have been the only one. Uh -huh. So before um, I begin, I just want to say, how are you feeling, Lux, and how are you feeling, Bottom? Healthy. I feel healthy. Word. Not even just saying that. I know it's like like they being in ling lingo right now for me, but like no, I feel good. Like yeah. attitude right, you know, mind stay clear. We help you. I I have to uh, second that emotion. Uh, I I feel the same way. It's like it's like the world trying to tell me I'm sick, but I feel better than ever. I mean, right. I, it's, it's like the immune system just heard the news and was like, who <laughs> 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 on the armor? Right. Right, <laughs> we, we healthy as hell, and we fresh off that Demetrius trip. We was, we was, we was in the clouds. Of this nigga what? lost his stop in time. He was holding the sun for about thirty I, minutes. Facts, I'm still chubby. <laughs> yeah, with the ancestors, like yeah, like this butter yeah. dream. Oh, that's okay, right. That's do. right. That's right. So we have a lot to cover today, but it will be some great questions. That's um talking about y'all collab project that we're going to definitely get into but before the first question is for Kim and I just want to say congratulations on winning the Kofi's Universe 2020 Lyricists of the Year you, Thank um, you. top no. three no. rappers no. that had the most votes from majority of the like probably had over a thousand votes so you Black Thought, Royce the Five Nine and Conway Machine were tied for second most votes Nas had the most votes so how does that feel for winning that you know, award and so many subs showing you love like that. That's that's unbelievable, man. I'm used to being a part of them polls back in the days that only, you know, 
your friends and family will vote for you. You know what I mean? Like, like <laughs> school raffle and shit where grandma buy all the tickets. So to yeah. know that I got people around the world that are actually considered, these are real fans. These are tangible people in other countries that are putting me amongst people that I built my whole rhyming structure off of. Like, these are, these are, these are legends. It's not like the NBA. These, these are, these are veterans that ain't retired yet. They still balling. Right, so, right, and, right. And I, mean, and I mean, they're beyond legendary. I mean, Black Dog, Nas, Conway. I mean, these, these, these guys are ridiculous. So it, it's, it's unreal. Like, it's unfathomable. You earned that, though, bro. You earned <laughs> that. You earned it's, that. It's a glitch in the matrix, for sure. Yeah, you definitely oh, earned that, man. And I, like, I just want to say congratulations to you once again. Um, question for Lux, I just want to say the people, people maybe never heard of you before, and that's okay, and that's a great thing, so they can start following you now. Facts. How, how was it growing up in Harlem? And tell us about your debut on Smack Classic DVDs. Um, well, as far as um, yeah, that's, that's definitely where I got my debut. My start up with people uh, seeing me on a um, on a uh, established platform. So I came through on the Smack DVDs. Um, yeah, not, like we was always uh, in the street um, battling and getting our names up and everything. But I go front. Everything changed once we got that 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 light. That platform that we, we got showcased on the first time they see me, I was battling murder moot. But um coming up in um Harlem, I think it I think it prepared me for uh the career choice or not even just choice, but just becoming because it was like that space, the the temperament, the fast pace of just New York City, especially Harlem, you know, you gotta know how to talk that taste, you gotta have a lingo. Uh it it's it's surrounded with um you know, just energies from, from from those that even came through the hub of Harlem, New York. You know, it's just a lot of, you know, uh, wordsmiths and, and, and well-spoken individuals, you know what I mean, came, come through Harlem, you know, just to get the message. And I'm just blessed to be a part of the legacy, you know what I mean, in, in, in this hub and having that, that space to just, you know, keep uh, that, that respect that people have for the for the area, you know, just strong, you know what I mean, and, and delivering that, that message. So, yeah, man. It, for me, it, it was just, um, I didn't even know until I knew, you know, how um, blessed I was to be from, you know, just a hub that had so many pros prospective, like, just walks of life, you know what I mean, as far as the, the individuals that came through. So, yeah, man, it's, it's it's definitely been a trip, been a ride, and I'm I'm so humble for the rumble, but grateful because it, it, it got me to these spaces that, you know me, I can, you know, just you know, have a voice and have a responsibility with that voice. So, yeah, it was definitely a rush coming through Harlem, man. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Another question for Lux. Um, who was your toughest, um, the, the toughest rapper you ever went up against in a battle rap scene? Well, in a battle? Yeah. Man, you know, um, I would have to say a lot of those probably wouldn't be names that I even known. Mm -hmm. Um, but if I had to, to speak of uh, individuals that names are out there, I would definitely have to say Murder Moot. It'd definitely be like one of the ones, you know, what I'm saying that that has given me a challenge that was that was, you know, well received. You know, what I mean that that made me want to say, oh, I got to go back to the drawing board, and I really got to assess where my game is at and where I'm going to take it, because he allowed for me to know, you know. There was people that could match that that level at the time, and then you know gave me gave me the inspiration necessary, the catapult to do more, you know what I mean, than I was already doing. So yeah, shout out to Murder Mook, he definitely gave me that. Shout out to Murder Mook, y'all. Shout out to Murder Mook. This question is for both of y'all, and I want to know just let's talk about this album, this great EP project y'all both dropped, produced by Black Magic, and um. I just want to say, just give us the fans, the people that maybe never heard the project yet, maybe you heard the first track, Slave to a Master. I did a reaction to that to them on my channel, y'all. Please check it out. And also, please go to, is it blackmagicmusic.com? Yeah, you could okay. go to Black Magic Music with black, it's magic spelled with a K instead of a C. Um, or you could go to manifestdestinymusic.com. Everything's spelled mm -hmm. chronically and, and correct. Um, so that would be the easiest way, manifestdestiny.com. Um, it'll be on DSP soon. 
Um, we're going to be opening up to Bandcamp and Audio Max soon. So we, you know, we're just slow roasting it, but right now we really want to, um, we really want to bring the fans directly to that website. And if you want, I yeah. can segue directly into uh, that question if you want. Yes, please. Well, first off, like Lux was saying, I mean, he didn't even touch on 5% of the picture. I mean, this guy is, <laughs> I mean, he, he's on, he's definitely on the rush more. You know what I mean? Uh, the, as far as a lot of the, when you talk about the greatest MCs of all time, and you got Biggie in there, you got Jay-Z in there, you got X in there, you got Nas in there. I mean, most people's top tens, we've never got to see their sword in use. It was all stories. It was all it was all barbershop talk. It was all theoretical. The the big battle between J and X was theoretical. Yeah. And then once wow. they got too big, it was like, you know, it's a risk to put yourself out there at that point because taking the L could reverse your whole situation, especially right. back then. Um, right. You know, and then and then of course you see what what happened with Cassidy and Freeway, and that didn't help the situation. So right. Let them, right. Once you get to a certain level of income, you don't have to even play these games no more. So you're dealing with somebody who, who has a constantly sharpened sword. And the psychology of a Lux, just from what I've seen, is there's a level of, it's, it's almost like dealing with a martial artist. It's somebody like a Bruce Lee or somebody who is so confident in themselves, they don't have to appear that way. They don't have to uh, appear as deadly. It's a joke. It's a, it's a po serious, he has a serious right. The greatest right. poker face in battle rap history. So <laughs> it's like, and, 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 and the thing about it is most in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the whole theory is that if you're a battle rapper, you, you spend so much time writing these long schemes off beat when it comes back time for you to go back on that metronome, a lot of people get lost because the brain yeah. gets this habitual, you get used to being in a certain space. So yeah. to even, you know, to even be able to in the space to touch and be in the, in the proximity of Belux is should be impossible. I'm from New Haven, Connecticut. Um, I moved to Florida when I was 18. Um, I've never been social. I, I'm 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 an alien to hip hop. I'm on a separate lunch table. I observe it and <laughs> recognize it, but I'm over here in my lifestyle. I'm a trippy boy. All I I I, I live in the moon. So yeah. um like just the blessing involved is beyond words but when it came down to this project and shout out to black magic because his name is richard merritt mary and everything that i've ever seen this man manifest or speak into comes into existence so just to yeah. be connected to him it opened up the doorway and allowed me to to share that that microphone with lux and it's it's beyond the most challenge i like i've never been more challenged before the timing of it it came in 2020. It happened out of nowhere. We had a limited Yo. amount of time. Neither Yo. both of me and because we both have our lives to go together. So a lot of this was made up on the spot. Lux is yeah. Lux is create. Lux has his own ritual to his writing format. I have my ritual to my writing format. So it's to me, it's something that is a gl it's a glitch in the matrix. Things like this normally don't happen. But Yo. it happened because it had to happen. Yeah, I truly feel that, bro. Like, just the second what he was saying, like, the way uh, I caught the transmission or the way it resonated with me when, like, Rich presented me with the question or, or just the idea of, like, yo, what's up? It was, like, it's crazy. It was, like, divine intervention real, real quick. Like, yo, nah, that's the, that's, that's the next move. Like, I, I guess if you know, if you're walking down your destiny and your path, you just know what, what just... You know, it just feels like, oh, that's, that's the most compelling thing. Like, that's naturally where I, yeah, I need to be at. And mm. the way it happened in that regard, like, I knew. And not only, um, I want to say what confirmed that for me also, because I caught that transmission a, 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 in, in the initial. But as we were creating the project, there were other glimpses. And, and bro, you know, there's, like, certain mistakes that was just happening mm. that, you know, you come to the realization, like, oh, nah, hold on. That, nah, that wasn't no mistake. Mm. But like it, like it was just so many of those happening con consistently in the creating of this project that you just sometimes you just had to like let go and let God like oh, oh, this this is sanctioned like I just knew after that I felt great creating it like whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen like I think we all like gave ourselves that freedom 
in that space of creating. Like it wasn't so it was just enjoying the moments, you know what I mean, yeah. that was happening. Yeah, it was it was almost no stress and like and I know you have projects in your bag and you've collaborated with many people and I got projects in my bag, but this one was different because it was it, like you said, it was like usually creating a project is way more stressful. It's stressful. You know, yeah, yeah, it's like this was this was this happened leisurely. It happened almost yeah, no. in the spot. Yeah, there was times where we were late, we were rushing to get there. But we know on a level of hip hop and what people go through, the, the arguments, the fights, the misunderstandings, the yeah, paperwork, yeah. the bullshit. This happened, this this happened, you know, just it was just none of the, it was yo, bro, it was almost like coming to class, right? One of them is just like like I, I was really like coming to just like I don't wanna say socialize. I don't wanna even but at certain points it just felt like that. It felt y'all can't wait till they see the bills and the conversations we were having, oh, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. we was just getting caught in conversations before we could even create like the beat is up, you know, and like we'll have like a 30, 30 minute to an hour build. <laughs> On the clock. You On the clock. <laughs> but that's how compelling the conversations were that y'all can't even leave this conversation because it's just yo, but yo, that might have been us doing the like the ritual, bro. We might have just been letting the, the gods come through, the ancestors are coming through at that point. So then when we, what's the energy that then we, oh, yeah, right. We would be making music. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and then that shit just, yo, it just, it just was happening. Yo. It was just, yeah. I'm just, yo, it was a great ride. Yo, great ride with my brother. Hell yeah, man. Okay, okay. This question will be for both of y'all, but we'll start with Lux first. Lux, what's your favorite track on the album and why? And you two can't bother after Lux. Damn, dang. I I got like two. I ain't gonna front that that emotionally overwhelms me. I ain't gonna front. Okay. And that for me is is definitely beautiful mm. and 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 cold for some for some reason Ooh. for me. Like so those those two joints, I mean as far as um like deep emotion, like that 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 for me, like you know me personally, you know what I'm saying, like Cold really takes me into that space where I'm really having that that um that intimate moment with self almost like it's mm -hmm. really reflective for me the, just the music and everything in the rhythm puts me in that reflective state so I, I'm in my, I'm in my life moment for real for real in that and I and me personally I, I love to be in those spaces I I really love to like sit and just let the emotions run through me being thought like that's my thing um. And then beautiful, like come on, like it was, it was in the still don't need to be said. Like when that thing come on, you know, it's just, it's like yes, yes, like this is why we do it. I do it, I do it to feel like this. Yeah, especially yeah. in the morning. For those of you that got the project, play beautiful. Let that be your morning record. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, when you getting up and you like, I don't know if you throwing your coffee on. I don't know how you 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 get your day <laughs> going in that in that early a.m. moment. But please put beautiful in your playlist, even if you go to the gym. Early, A, I'm telling you, it's a great way to, like, set the tone. Word. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's interesting because um, just to add on to what Lux was saying with Code, it's like when he, create, when he created that, because he set the tone on that track. Like, we had, a, um, we had a different thought in mind at first, and I know once he sits with it, he don't, he don't like to sit on the beat too long. He likes to let the moment strike him. And I learned so many different principles from Lux on this album. Like, it's like, it, it was a dojo. And, Likewise, um, yep. Yeah, one of the principles was that, you know, you let that beat be new, so that way whatever egg hatches on that, that's what you're going with. And um, when you came in with that flow, it left me befuddled. It was like, it was almost like me and Rich was almost considering let you have that whole track. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then I was like, you know, let me let me let me try something. And mine came out a, a slightly more technical, and yours yeah. came out more emotional. So it became we got the we got this we got the body and the we got the spirit and the mind on it. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, and, yeah. Yo, and so it created that dichotomy. But I would say that um, I believe, yeah, beautiful would be. Um, it's it was the most natural song. It yeah, just happened. Was... It was it was just divine. It's like 
generally you you have to create a whole album to get one of those. Yes. You know what I mean? And Because and, you can't plan a song like that. It just falls out of the ether. That song was, that beat mm -hmm. wasn't even picked for this project. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> and when I sent it, when I sent that song to Rich and Lux, initially, I didn't like oh it. I had God. no confidence in it. I had no confidence in it. I, I didn't want to pick up the phone. I was like, damn, man, I, went, I wasted time at the studio, and this is all I got. And then he uh, hit me up. He was like, nah, this is the one. I listened to it again. I was like, maybe he's it. right. And then that's Rich was like, yo, this is fire. And then we sent it to Saw Rock. And she she immediately was like, yes. It took her a couple days. And we was like, yo, you get the whole verse. And she she just made it. She just yo. basically, we came with the fabric and she sold the coat. <laughs> you know? Yes, yo. She nailed, oh my God, yo. Yeah. Y this, yeah, every time I listen, like, cause and her penmanship on that is just is like she and on a, on on a record like that for me too. Like she didn't still, she didn't hold no punches. Like she went like she had, the, she had the she had the she had the stronger tone than us too. It's like it's like I'm telling we, you, we we, <laughs> we, took, we took the it's like we 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 epitomize the 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 feminine the, the, bro, aspect, right. we epitomize the masculine aspect. The yo bro yo yup yo it's crazy you said that and yeah. we went. And we, yo, that's crazy. And I, yeah. that's what I'm saying, we need that goddess energy, or we need that 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 feminine energy. And she just, yo, I, I, yo, bro, I just felt it like that dynamic, and like it's one of them records, like all the way through. You, you, you can't as as monotonous as we saying beautiful. You don't get tired of the record because of the different dynamics that's hitting on a joint. Like yeah. it don't. Yeah, it, it, it keeps you captivated with the transitions and the segue. So it's like, yo, you cut the, the hook, cut the, bro. And then, I, yo, I could have never imagined you would have did a flow like that. Mm, it's mm. so, it's so, it's so simplistic and in the pocket that it, it's genius, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. it ain't, you know, because usually, you know what I'm saying? You ain't know, bro. You could go through loops and hoops. You know what I'm saying? You could do the, the intricacy. You could put the complexity to your shit. Like, but yeah. it was your bro, like you were so in your in your zone, like <laughs> that yeah. shit, bro. Like, I go through the and I go through the hoop and I, uh, yo, bro, you killed <laughs> that. Now I'm trying, like, I want to say, but I'm trying to like hold it so they go get the go get the project. Oh, no, but. that's what I think about yours. Like I, I, I had a whole more. I was about to rewrite my whole shit after I heard your shit. Yo, I thought you were saying, yo, and I thought you were, and I like, no, bro, no, no, not this one. This mm. one, like, nah, you you killed, like. Simply like just out the gate, and I, when I heard it, I knew it. I'm like, oh, he, like if it was you, it was an elevated. Like you was so in the zone. That's why I said like it was so many divine intervention type of moments with this project. Because mm. I don't, I don't think you would have normally approached that. Like I don't know how you even felt that, bro. But the flow, it everything happen, was money. It had to happen on the spot. Because if I would have took that home and cooked it, it wouldn't have been the same. It would have been, yeah. overcooked. it would have been overcooked. So, but yeah, I would say. Beautiful, and then of course Alpha Omega is the last joint we did. Yes, and we were li we literally freestyled that at the beat, like yeah, like, whole beginning part. We was just running in and out of the booth like two kids at the candy store. Like it was <laughs> facts. <laughs> yeah, he's not lying, yo. <laughs> I got to finally got to. It was like you know you got to go through the whole Soul Train show to get to the Soul Train line. And we finally got to hit that Soul Train line at the end of Mama's wedding. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was, like, it was, it was yo, I, I, I was listening to an interview with Damian Marley, and he was talking about the Distant Relatives album with him and Nas and how they was going back and forth. And he said that was the only time in on an album where they got to really play because everything else happened, you know, they're all in their bag writing. In right. A, in but when we right. do that, we have no choice but to be, we got to paint on the same easel. And that's yeah, why that, yeah. that song was so strong that it's just impossible to top something it. like that in this time in these times. You can feel it too. Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry, everybody. I'm gonna have the information in the um, description so y'all can definitely um, purchase this great EP and their um, social media information so y'all can follow them if y'all haven't been following them yet. I have another question. This question is for Lux right here. I just want to say. If you didn't know, but you do know, you are considered to be the best battle rapper in the game, the world. How does that feel to hold that title? Oh, man, shoot. I, you don't even, that's so exceeded my expectations. Like, I literally just wanted to, to be somebody in the conversation. 
Like I really wanted to just to just be a be a, like how you say a man amongst men. Or I just wanted to have one of them names in the room. Like you feel me? So just to be con considered in that space, that yeah, yeah, really exceeded it, man. Because I'm I was fans of dudes in my neighborhood that was that was spitting. Like you know, I probably wouldn't even been doing it, but I was <clears throat> I was like really uh, a fan of how they put it together because you know I came up like really playing like a lot of games, like video games and stuff like that at, at, at one point. I think that helped with my, my wanting to master things, that my mastery skills, like in terms of just wanting to be a perfectionist or like, you know, mm -hmm. so intrigued by, you know, science of things. And when I, when I um finally got to like be in a space where I was like in the, in the, in the jump seat, like, me figuring out, oh, what to say, why to say that, how to say that, and just, you know, but the one thing, I didn't quit, like, like the, the questions were coming to me, and I, I, I just was so interested and, and inspired by, like, all right, now, I got to know how they doing this, because I'm, I was such a big, big fan of, of the dudes in my neighborhood, so, you know, I should sit, listen to them, um, like, rap, get pointers, and different things like that, and just, yo, listen, just, I, I really mean it, that means so much to me, just, uh, like even more than just having a means to do it, you know, because I, you know, everything comes with money comes with the territory. We understand that, but just to to really be um, fortunate to to get the feedback from the people to say all that your efforts were, everything that you you know sacrificed, uh, the focus, all of that to just get the feedback and it be that like that's not not even making that up, Kof. Like that it, that exceeds my expectations, bro. Like. I just wanted to be have a name in the conversation, like yo, yeah, that he get busy too, but the, the you know for, to to be considered like, you know, being in them spaces as some of the best MCs that like you know do their thing, like that's I'm honored, you're honored, and that gives me incentive to like yo, let's let's keep expounding on what it is to have a, you know, high level, you know what it is we do, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I just want to be in the room with those that do it, and I'm I'm just. You know, I'm grateful, man. I'm so grateful. Okay, Bro. thank you. Thank Yo, you so much question. for answering that. Real quick, quick question, Kobe. Yo, Lux, how old were you in that when uh, on the first uh, Lux uh, Mook battle in the, in the clothing store? Oh, oh, yeah. I'm 19 in that. Mm. Wow. 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 I'm 19 in that. Yo, and it's so crazy because I was 16 when I dropped. And I was in high school. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, like, how, how, how. Like the your mind was so vast at such a young age that yeah. I don't even know if you knew your reference points was so crazy. Like at nineteen, that's just beyond. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't, bro. No, 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 no. Love is love. No, I didn't. I didn't tell the truth, but I, 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 I knew that <laughs> I, I loved it. Then let's just say that I loved it. Like I, like in love until this day. Like, like I, I'm in love with us you know, the, the different dimensions of creativity. Like, it's, it's everything. It is us. So, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Question for um, Kambada. I just want to talk about LSD real quick. You're getting great reviews for your project. Um, to me, it's considered to be one of the best albums of 2020, and I said that on my channel. No, not being biased. I'm just being honest because I always critique things. Like, I have your album up there with – Benny the Butcher, Ari the Rugged Man, John Connor, SOS Project, you know, and Freddie Gibbs, um, Alchemist Alfredo Project. So I just wanted to let you know, how does it feel getting these great reviews about your album? Oh, I mean, it means, it means everything, man. It's, 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 it's hyper real. It's surreal. It's, it's, uh -huh. it's almost less tangible than my dreams sometimes. It's like, I have like, I don't know if I have disassociation issues or whatever, but it's hard for me to even grasp it at this moment. Like, mm. um, you know, like I, 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 I come from a super level of, of just honesty, realism and humility, not because that's how I want to be, but just, that's just the way I was raised. So it's like, I never wanted more than I earned or, that I thought I needed, you know what I mean? I was raised by my Grammy. I just always knew exactly how much she made a week and how much the bills were. So I never asked for anything more than I knew she could afford. Mm -hmm. So, and uh -huh. I don't ask I, from the, the same way I feel with my fans. It's like, 
I understand a car is a car. I, I, I hyper matured to a level that it kind of shook up my plight in hip hop because this is around that if you see yourself manifesting materialism and high wealth and cars and beautiful women, you obtain that. And at a young age, I started, I started really getting serious about metaphysics and trying to figure out why I'm in this body and why I'm on earth. And this is a question that definitely supersedes music business, you know, right, I've been right. answering those questions. So I, I kind of hyper evolved my spirit in a way that it makes it hard for me to plant both feet in the garden of hip hop because it's not true to me anymore. Most of the, most of the principles that are involved. So mm. when I create it's from a state of selfish bliss, it's not because I expected to get all the attention in the world. Right, right. I, I just need enough attention to validate that what I'm doing is as genius as I think it is, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, this album, I consider that my first album. It's, it's, it's the work of my life. It's up to this point. And, you know, now it's about getting my mountain gear back on and climbing that same mountain again, you know? So <laughs> I'm grateful. That's right. You climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. You did a great job when you got to the top. Thank you. Free solo, <laughs> no gear. Free solo, no gear. On no budget, you know? No budget at all. All my albums, except for the last couple, were created on my 2009 Dell mm. in, my, in a tiny room by myself. <laughs> you know, I've no, been there. No, no marketing ever. No marketing ever in my life. Yeah. So it's like, nigga, like, I got here by the grace of God. I was carried in the palms of God. He brought me right up the stairway. Now I'm straight rapping up. with Loaded Lux, you know? Straight uh, up, you know, no chaser. Yo, bro, that, that's why, you know, the, the, the title of this joint, that Manifest Destiny, like, oh, bro, the manifestation, like, Proof of that's value. what he's telling y'all. Yeah, yeah, like, yo, this shit is crazy. Like, to, I know what you mean, bro. It's, it's, it's surreal to, 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 to and from, like, to just, in the midst of it happening and then, yo, you've arrived. Like, I, I always remember, like, listening to Clue tapes, rewinding the locks, rewinding Mace versus back, rewinding Fab versus rewinding whoever, like, you know what I'm saying, being that sponge and just being like, yo, I just want to slot on this tape, yo. I just want to, I just, yo, I, I used to literally be like, like, yo, no, stop the, listen back to people verse, like, all right, not, nah, and then be there, instrumentals all day just to, to, to do that and do that on a consistent basis to to now you looked at or seen as oh that young kid now that's coming up he looking at everything you doing like he probably yeah. looking at oh me and Cam just did it and he probably studying the hell out of that album like front to back to front like hold up nah and he's getting all of that inspiration all of that light and I know like myself and I know that's the real reason why Cam do it too it's like like I get a great joy we get a great joy out of like people dissecting that because yeah. the, the lengths we're willing to travel to go get it for you and then for you to you know you don't have to do all of you you could just cut the fat you could just get it right there and receive it but we just you know just for you to receive it mm. i think that's the most highs you know the the, the the overall plan that that works through all of us like do mm. your thing out there like if you're catching this transmission if you tuned in listen like like when you see us, see yourself. Like do your thing because you you help out the the whole cipher. Like it's always a cipher happening. When we see you doing your thing, we get inspired to do our thing, and and, and the reciprocity is happening, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes. 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 I share. <laughs> Another question for both of y'all. It doesn't matter who answered this first. How do y'all feel about the rappers being shot, killed recently? Ooh. Um, well, I, I, I say it's, um, it's almost a, a, a result of where we, what we've been putting into the reality, you know, and this is why this is a major, like, milestone. Um, I want to just say for, for us in regards to this Manifest Destiny project, because mm -hmm. we will, we will, as we drop this project, we submit it a space and time that we'll never forget. And hopefully people that subscribe and tune into, they'll never forget. This was the this was the time or the moment where we were aware and we turned everything around from this point. You know what I mean? That's why we had to drop on 1221. 
It was very important to cement that because we need to always take take account of these different checkpoints. Yes, this was the year that, you know what I mean, the, the, the most happened to our industry. But sometimes, you know, how they say, how the high coach tell you when you when, when he training you, I mean, I had a lot of gym instructors and like coaches put me through it. I'm breaking you down to build you up, though. Yes. Mm. We might gotta we like gotta strip all of that right now. You feel me? And we needed it, it had to hit home like that because yo, we needed us to see us. Like, yo, look what's happening to us. We doing it to us though. Ain't nobody outside, we doing this to us. So, you know, just that that you know, waking up and having that aspect, then we can now we can we can get on away. So yeah, that's that's what it felt like for me. It was just it felt like it was a wake up call. And we need to start like really assessing what we what we putting out there as far as what we're eating, you know? Definitely, man. It, it's 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 symbolism all the way, synchronicity all the way. It's like the activity, the 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 frequency is so high, the tension in the air is so thick. Um, I mean, in 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 where you get more everything is created in the presence of its opposite. So mm. the world is changing at such a dynamic rate. And we also have more cameras, more access. There's more artists. There's more rappers. More, so right. you're going to, all the numbers are going to, are going to rise. Right. And, right. and also, and also um, it's, it's like, like Lux was saying, it's, it's highly symbolic of the times. I mean, this was the grand sacrifice this year. I mean, it started off. With, and when you when 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 Lux first answered the question, he said, "Woo, and <laughs> was, Woo. Right. that was Pop Smoke." You know what I mean? Mm, right. right That's bro. The first thing you said was "Woo." You know what I mean? Oh. It was it was it was Kobe Bryant, Pop Smoke. Then we had the whole drill scene basically took a set loss. Whoa. Oh my um, god! You know, Boosie got shot. I mean, it was it was just oh, but on the same yeah, token, crazy. on the same token. A lot of people got rich this year. We got, we saw Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. Huh? Yeah, like the whole industry change. All the artists that were down here are now up here, and all the yeah. artists and all the artists that were up here are now right here. Everybody's looking at each other in the eyes because we've been hyper exposed. We all uh, on the same YouTube. we all on the same Instagram. Everybody's right, still bro. On display display. It's been the grand awakening, like you said. It's been the, you know, the the defibrillators, the clear. Yeah, yeah. That's why they say clear. That's why they say clear. Uh, 2020, perfect clarity. You know, yeah. it's like, you know, like this has been that year. For 100, percent it's it's as biblical as you want to go. This is Revelations. This is Sodom and Gomorrah. This is Babylon. We just yeah. have to be in it. And because of hedonic adaptation, just like a fucking a, a toad in boiling water, we don't feel it. We just, we adapt to it. We wake up in the morning and it's just, and like we were saying in the studio, if a fucking alien was hovering over us today, it would take us two weeks before we back to work smoking. Right. Yeah. This is crazy. You're right, you're right. You just froze, Cam. What's going on? It's probably his connection. Okay, it's probably connection. He'll come back in a second. Yeah. Okay, he back. He back. I'm sorry, Cam. Okay. Thank you. That, that, I thank both of y'all for answering that, man. I'm, I'm glad to get some insight about that because I did a video about that two weeks ago and I talked about that you know, in one of my videos. I mean, people was very happy how I gave my honest opinion. It was like, you know, I just told them just – you know, so much going on with social media, so much going on with just, you know, I need to be this, I need to have this. And I think sometimes, we you know, we get into the moment of, we just try to trend with everybody else. Trend, trend, yep. trend. Yeah. Yo, Cole, look, no, no, let me, no, let me tell you something. Real, real talk, this happened like this. Since we used to, we used to go to different spots and different things that was going on. Like, you know, just, you know, on a, on a, week to week basis because you know when you floating around the industry different things are going on parties is popping you're trying to be on the scene in the scene the naturally i told her i said yo loved one we gotta slow down and speed up like hold up we're not gonna get to every party like this this is just not gonna happen like you know what i mean and after a while i think you go through like, you go through these 
like simulations almost to really find your way, find who you are, what you are, and where you, where you need to be. And I started saying, like, hold up now. We going all the way around, keep going around this, this, this like carousel. And it's like a broke clock is right two times, at least twice a day, like, you know what I mean? Which got me to believe in, like, why don't we just do us? Why don't we be the party? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I feel as though that's where we really start seeing our greatness. I feel like it's necessary for the world to be the way the world is, for you to go around long enough to you, you, you catch it and be like, oh, okay, this is my path. This is my straight line. Like, yeah. you know how you look at the power button and it got the circle, and, but it got the straight line too? It's like, mm. these are the... These are the directions only in which power can travel. Okay? So, and let's you until you figure out the maze, you get out that circle, you take that your path, that straight line, you're gonna forever be in the loop. You know what I'm saying? So, so and that's that's where you know, once you awaken to that is when all the magic I, I feel like really truly starts to happen for you. Mm. I love the gym. I love the gym. Transcribe that. I need that on the shirt, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. You're right about that. Another good question. I want y'all to answer this because this question has been um, bouncing around social media for the last couple of years. Do you think African Americans are more connected to Africa or native to North America? Mm. That's a good question. Um, how can you truly know, though? I, 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 well, I say that to say, like, I feel like it's bio rhythms, Kof. I feel like you connected to what you connected to. If you, mm -hmm. like, if you really study in self, if you really on your, your path, you feel me? And then look, it's degrees of knowing yourself. So, like, how well are you in the pocket to discern properly, you know, which energy is calling out to you? Because you could be in a loop. You could be, you could be responding to old energy. Mm. Yeah, it used to be a habit of yours or something. Like, how do you really know until you really are in a space where you have surmounted and really have crossed that threshold to say, okay, I'm, I'm, I've am i become another space of myself. Mm. I feel as though once you get there, then at that point, it's arbitrary. I'm not, I'm not confined to Africa or North America or that part of this part. Of it. I'm all of it. I'm literally all of it. Mm. So at different points of becoming, in, uh, you know, at your maturation on different levels, I feel like, yo, I was talking to my bro. I was like, yo, Costa Rica calling me. Mm. So I might got to go over there. I got to go get those 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 codes over there, Coke. I got to go get those transmissions. And then after I go get those, and I sit in the pocket with the masses of that energy, then Africa might be calling me. Mm. And then people in Africa might be called to North America. Mm. But I feel like it's part of where you got to go from, from pillar to post. You got to mm. go through your journey. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's arbitrary, man. Yeah, you got to know when you know. Wow. Yeah, that's how I answer that. So great, great. No, thank you for answering that. Your turn, Cam. Yeah, I feel like it, it, I feel ex exactly how how Lux feels. I mean, in my waking life, you know, I was born in 1987. Um, the world was already like this. We was already here. Um, all the other stories of where I came from are in books or people telling me, and I see little cartoon pictures. <laughs> right. <laughs> Africa um, and so I guess just in the loop of my genealogy it would be here in what we call North America but to kind of go in between what Lux is saying and I made this realization on shrooms one time I was very confused because I, I was in New Orleans but I was like am I in Florida mm. I was outside and I was like because Florida and New Orleans are just miles away from each other, but it's still outside. Mm -hmm. Really, like the whole concept of the separation of states and cities. Right. Is theoretical, hypothetical, invisible line. But outside yes, is outside. If you're on Earth, you, whether you're separated by trees or water, you're right. from Earth. It, it's, and not only that, but the Africans and the humans that were here before, to say that Africans didn't have boats and couldn't get on here on, I think there's a there's a West African current that runs, so they didn't even need sailboats. They could just jump in a boat and get yeah. to America 10, 20,000 years ago. So, and then not only that, the shit that we call black skin melanin, like chlorophyll is to leaves, is is a is a sun transponder. Like there's different, like all three of us is a different tone of blackness. 
But I, th I think there was a time where it was primary for all beings, no matter what continent you were from, to have to have a level of melanin. Mm -hmm. So it's just right. about what time, what time stamp are we talking about? Because in the past right. two thousand years, we've been from North America, or or for the past you know at least five hundred years, we've been from North America. So. Mm -hmm. If my genealogy was in Africa at any point, which according to Ancestry.com it was, um, that was probably thousands mm -hmm. of years ago. So I, I might have more local blood than I do, you know, alien mm. blood. I don't know. But I think that it's deeper than that, man. I don't know, man. My spirit, whatever found this suit, wherever, you know, wherever this suit originates from, that right. ain't got nothing to do with my spirit. My spirit is an alien here. My spirit wakes up every day like, yo, what is this strange fucking planet, bro? I'm not, I don't <laughs> feel like, we have to adapt to Earth, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, we gotta learn do. how to walk. We gotta learn how to walk. We gotta, we look at the alien, we look at the animals and the plants for guidance. Like, we need a map here. We're asking for help while we're here. We trying, we gotta leave soon. All mm. of us. Hey. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, really, we not from here. You know what I mean? Like, this is just the game that we're playing, you know? The game. I like totally that. I like game. that. Thank you. Thank you. Great um, response from both of y'all. This question here is for um, Lux. I got to ask you this because so many people on my channel <laughs> have been debating about you and Daylight. <laughs> and, um, Healthy. Yeah. I, lo I love Daylight, and I love your skill set, and I already told people – it's almost like Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford, Kevin Durant versus LeBron James. You don't know what you're going to get when mm, they battle each mm, other. Mm, What's mm. your opinion about daylight skill set? And can we expect a, the battle between you and him in 2021? That's a fact. I, we, we already we been mapping it out. So, you know what I mean? I, we knew we wasn't going to get it in 2020 with everything going on. So, we already been pushed that date back. But yeah, I, I'm I'm excited for it. True story. Because I'm gonna be honest, I don't. You don't know what you you're gonna get until you put yourself all the way in that space. And we, one thing to show, two things for certain. This melon, this thing is adaptable. You hear me? This thing transforms his day. It's, it's, I'm excited to see what it's about to morph into, because the the nature of the individual and in that you placed in my mindset to say, yo, he's dangerous. He's really next level dangerous. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is what's going on right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to honor that. I'm mm. going to honor that. Mm. Mm. So if you understand where I'm taking it, you know, you know. So I don't even know, but I know we're going we gonna to get in there. We're going to dance. Yeah. I know that. You feel listen, me? We so, was just sparring. We was just sparring. And this man, listen, he don't got an expiration date, man. He's, he's listen, he's in Yo, Yeah, bro. And, yo, listen, and then off the, coming up with, with bro, I didn't know. I didn't know my my swordsmanship went through another level. I'm not. I'm not worried about a thing. Us you was just, playing just, with just, the sun. You was playing with the sun outside. So ain't nothing like. And that was during the day. You know what I mean? That was bro. You, you feel me? Yo, it's like you know, the levels that uh, that's, that's about to happen. I'm I'm so excited just to be alive and experiencing like us at this time. Like we talking about the daylight battle, boom, boom, boom. But like like all of this is the, a part of the experience, the journey, the the happening, happening, and. The mere fact that we taking it on and being like, yo, I'm excited about what's about to happen. This is, we all, we, we talking about growth, though. We talking about us getting to new levels of self, which is new levels of experience. I'm, I'm so excited, you know what I mean? But not just being a part of it, a participant, because sometimes I'll be like a fly on the wall while y'all watching it. I'm watching it, too, low, low key. Because God's mm. being, listen, the, the most hot, most hot getting it done, you hear me? Mm. I just be, I be, I be honored to just, Yo, I'm a part of this now, honey. Yo, I swear to God, a lot of y'all not both y'all on this phone right now. I've been times I've stopped midway of me in thought creating, and I had to stop and step back and just, just, just pay homage and like really give all my love and, and to the Most High, the, the yo, the thing that's working through me. Like, ain't none of us. It's just, it's just, it's just. Look, I'm overwhelmed even talking about. It. Let me slow down. Let me okay. slow down. Thank you. We just excited. You, We're excited. 2021, <laughs> y'all. It's gonna be. It's gonna be black magnificent. I can't wait. Um, Kim, so many fans are excited about your upcoming track with K Reno. Can you give us any details about that song? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, just, just, uh, just kind of a preluding statement is, um, 
if you listen to most of my projects in the past, I don't have many features at all, if any. Um, and, you know, that's because once I get locked in a state of conceptual thought, it's very hard to even have space or to, you know, a allow another mind or another paintbrush on my, on my canvas. Um, but somebody like Kay Reno, who, I mean, like, if you just look at it bar for bar on what this man has done in just the past 10 years, conceptually, he's technically surpassing 99% of lyricists ever. Mm. I mean, I, it's just a matter of sonic taste um, with mm. him because technically, I mean, he's nailing down concepts that are impossible to fathom. His, mm. his, his ability, his conceptual design of duality, I don't know if you've gotten into um, K. Reno Lux, but he is, <laughs> nigga, he's our hey, elder. His first, wow. his, first single, his first single came out in 86, and this nigga got songs that are just like, he's telling three storylines at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, this dude and his, his level of barsmanship, wow. And his voice is it's all clarity. He's from Houston, Texas. And um, so yeah, when I was broke. preparing a joint for him, it was like, I can't really come with just something normal. Like, this can't be a 16. This can't just be, you know, um, me doing a track with same thing with me and Lux. Like we did me yeah. and Lux did the goat joint. That wasn't enough. You know, what I mean? yeah. we a couple of years back, and it was just like, ah, we we, we needed more space. Yeah, but, um, yeah. I'm not going to give away the conceptual design, but know that I sent him something that is, it's a long joint. It's, it's a conceptual joint. It's specific, and it fits right in with the legacy of K. Reno and Cambada. If you know my conceptual joints, the Tupac Murder Confessions, Michael Jackson, Grand Number Theorem, this is in lines with that. Fire. Yeah. Fire. You know, okay. you know. That's all we need to hear. That's all we need to hear. Only a couple of questions left. Um, and I'm gonna let y'all gentlemen, you know, go take care of y'all business. But um, this question is for both of y'all. What projects can we expect in 2021? Um, well, I'm, I'm um, I ain't gonna say it's a whole project. Uh, but I will say uh, I'm definitely doing something with Don DeMarco, which is um a, a DJ um that's that's in um in the battlefield. But not nah, DJ Don DeMarco. He's a He's been doing what he's doing since since Clue. If you if you know, you know what I'm saying, he 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 run with the faction. So he's been out here putting putting them um, putting it down and making his name. But that and I got a project with uh Rain. My man Rain nine ten. We had a whole joint together. And I was calling it Strivers Row. But I'ma just say this, you know what I mean? Because um those are, uh, a lot of it is in the making, you know what I'm saying? So for, for people that's uh, interested and they just wanna tune in and cause I can't tell you uh, based off of the climate, which project will be most befitting? I feel like, you know, when we and Cam went in to do Manifest Destiny, like, we already had a timestamp on it. We already knew why we was doing this and the purpose thereof. So it worked with the reality. It worked with nature. It worked with everything. Um, so I'm just letting y'all know these are certain things I was working on. But for further uh, information, at I Am Loaded Lux, Cope, like, that's that's my everything. That's my my, my website, IamLoadedLux.com. That's if you want to catch me on a... On a uh, social media, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, like everything is um, at I am Loaded Lux. So I can keep everybody abreast of what project I'm definitely going to drop and release next. But yeah, those are some of the things that I'm going to make it, potentially. Okay, before I let Kim answer that, Loaded um, Lux, I was just going to let you know, anytime you um, you drop a single or something, let me know. I'll do a reaction on my channel to give you some buzz, man, so people can know. Oh, appreciate and I'm you. Definitely, yeah. I'm gonna definitely put your information in the description so everybody can follow you. I, I got you with that, but now, yeah, your turn, Kim. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, 2021. Um, I'm gonna get see. Uh, LSD was a project that um, was four years in the making, and the whole point of when I when I first came down to New York in 2015, which is actually when I initially met Lux. Um, uh, the whole plan was for me to do LSD. And, I mean, shortly after me coming down in January 2016, I um, is when I did Nigger Christ, 33. A lot of these songs were created way before this album came out. So in the midst of that, I did three projects with, um, I, I mean, I did the two prior to this manifestation. I had two projects with uh, Brother Rich. 
I had the Kambala project. Um, and, and so besides that, every other thing that I recorded, which I have an infinite amount of songs, hasn't been heard yet. So I got a whole nother Kambala I'm working on. Um, I got a project with a, a producer named Master Sin. Um, I got a project with Domingo Padilla, who is the producer of uh, Dream Shatter with Big Pond. He also did my joint with uh, me and Cannabis. Mm -hmm. um, I got uh, I got a bunch. I got a bunch of stuff I'm working on that you know. But as far as dates, same thing. Um, I got some coming out with uh, Soul Messiah and uh, Syrock coming up okay. soon. Um, he's dropping an album called God Complex. Uh, so mm -hmm. I have a single on that. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be uh, epic. Expect a lot of music. That's all I can expect. Because <laughs> niggas is working. Like, in Lux, you could attest to that. Like, whoa, whoa. like you look at what 38 Special is doing, what Griselda Records is doing. I mean, these guys got a project every two months. It's whoa. not like you, you don't got no time out. to read. Right, right. But, yo, bro, you know what that's doing? That's what everything we be talking about, bro. Once we, once we elevate in that space, it, you really don't need that much time. Yeah, if you know. If you're in that space, you really don't need that much time, but you got to be in that pocket. And yeah. we all, you know, this this is the project manifest destiny that inspires that. Like, we really wanted to put make that time stamp to let those that know, those that are aware. Yeah, we really in a war, and let's get to it. Like, you Proof know what I mean? But we got, yeah, you feel me? We got well, everything I mean, that we need. We didn't even start really recording that project until the end of October. So we talking about two months of solid works. We we write. We produce, write, and record, master, and release a project in two months yeah. from inception to creation? Yeah. That's, a, yeah. that's a miracle. That's yeah. proof. That's all the proof we need. That's a million-dollar plan. He's not even making this up. I felt myself, I felt myself moving myself in, in, in space and in, in, in realization. Like, I, I never did that before. It was just new. And, but we made sure we showed up. And that's yeah. what we want everybody to know. We really showed up. And in that, something takes over, you know, and it's going to do the... So that's what I, I feel like this is. This is us, you know, it's, this is like a, a calling, a calling to, to, to all of those that, that are, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what these different transmissions and projects that we put out there are, are, are saying to each other. These are transmissions. This is communicating with all of us. Like, yo, it's our time. Like, so... Yeah, it's a, it's a divine, it's a divine trip, but like you know, it's, it's lovely and this is happening. So for those that know that it's happening, like yeah, like it's a blessing because it's it's really our time. I'm mm. tight. Right, right, right. Um, <clears throat> final remarks. Anything you want to tell your fans? Tap in. Go get that manifest destiny at, at from manifestdestinymusic.com. Like I, I just really want people to really pick up this project because this is this is now you know what i'm saying like i'm not for nothing else if you just it's almost like wearing certain I, I wear certain shirts i wear certain things i wear these things as reminders as, they're almost like talisman you know what i mean this is one of them projects that 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 brings you to 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 your to yourself like it's just one of those things that i help with the alignment and i just really want my fans to you know tap in because that's what type of time i'm on and i'm sure that's what they do it for to grow Whatever we doing, whatever you, whatever job you working, whatever whatever passion that you got, what what your reason for being, I just hope that underlining it all, that you you know that this this whole life journey is for your growth to attain knowledge and things about yourself that knowing that's yours, it's yours though, like you, not for you just doing it for you need that to have that for to, to how do you even know you who you are like and then you know we expect to love everybody you know what I mean but you can't even know yourself fully. To even love and embrace yourself and, and i know that's where it starts at and a lot of us wouldn't be in undesirable situations if we knew that and this i just want to say that this project is a testament to that and we did it with that frequency resonating in us like yo we got to put this out because of that like so yeah that's all that's all i want them to know <laughs> definitely we'll get I, that I, I second i second that man manifest destiny music.com man i feel like this is this this definitely epitomizes um, you know the 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 hip hop that uh, the the true essence of what created this this entire culture that saved our lives. You know, what I mean, this saved me and Lux's life. This saved Ooh. every this saved every every you know everybody that we know involved in this could have been doing something else, and it would not. Everybody on earth want to be a rapper, man. Everything else, nothing else is uh, like this lifestyle. Like 
This is, yeah. this is the most sought after responsibility. And it's because of what we have to go through mentally to get these downloads. It don't come, mm. it don't just come to everybody in the, in that, in that, in that, but it's, it's, it's not an easy road. You got to live in order to even yeah. have reference points to even gauge what you're saying. So I'm just saying again, manifest destiny, music.com. Go get that. Um, you know, uh, at cambottomusic.com. Shout out Kofi, thank you so much. Shout out Lux, oh, bro. shout out Black Music, Black uh, Black Magic Music 363 on YouTube. Uh, Brother yeah. Rich, you know everybody. Yeah. It's just lovely. It's thank healthy. you, thank you, thank you. Um, Loaded Lux, Kimbata, I appreciate stopping by the channel. It's always love. Um, Kimbata, we appreciate you. Loaded Lux, I would love to have you again in the future for any upcoming projects. Maybe pre-Battle with Daylight, post-Battle with Daylight, I would love to have you back on here because you have so many fans, just to let you know, that's on my channel. And um, uh, That's a blessing. Appreciate yeah. you, Kofi Word. Whatever you need, bro, like, definitely. Like, <laughs> I'll be at you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There you have it, y'all. All the information, please go cop that album. Manifest Destiny, y'all, that was dropped on the Winter Solstice. Until next yeah. time on Kofi's Universe. You already know. Salute, y'all. Peace, peace. Peace.